What's up guys, how you all doing? So I'm watching uh, the Keynote thing on the Galaxy Note 4 and the Galaxy Note Edge and, and whatnot. And I've got to tell you, I hate watching Samsung events. They are the most cringeworthy, awful presentations that I've ever seen. Uh, no one ever claps. At the moment, these guys on the stage, the presenters are clapping and trying to get people to clap. Um, this woman keeps trying to be funny, Rachel, whatever her name is, and it's actually embarrassing. Um, plus, 9 to 5 Mac uh, just found a couple of her tweets and she uses an iPhone, uh, which makes it even more embarrassing. And, um, yeah, it's just, I, I just find it so cringe. What do you guys think? It's just so embarrassing when no one claps or anything, when they're like, yes, and this new screen, and they expect people to clap and no one does. Or they go, that's worth an applause, and then no one claps. And the phone is all your experience in our experience zone. Well, I'm personally really excited to have a proper player of this latest. It's going to be a race to that experience zone when it's finished. Right. Well, that's the Galaxy Note Edge. Oh, we've got a little bit of a round of applause. Beautiful. Beautiful. So if we can, let's move on to our next new device. This one's built... So that's the end of the uh, Samsung, um, what do you call it, conference exhibition, show, announcement, that's the one. And, I mean, I like the Galaxy Note. Uh, I, I've always liked the Galaxy Note series. I've bought every single one of them. But they haven't really changed it that much. It should really be called the Galaxy Note 3S <laughs> and copy uh, Apple's style of naming because that's pretty much all it is. Uh, a little bit of change here and there, but nothing drastic. Is still being held back by the plastic construction and also the I know it's got a metal band around the outside now but that's not what people are looking for people are looking for premium they're looking to get value for money and when you get a plastic back on a phone you don't feel like you're getting it um, so yeah not a huge step up really from the Galaxy Note 4 but still obviously I'll get one and, and take a look at it the uh, Galaxy Note Edge looks interesting, it looks weird I think, it looks like the screen is too thin or something because they've added the curve to it instead of making it the same width and then adding that extra if you know what I mean but it looks interesting, um, I think it's a gimmick if I'm honest but you never know, maybe it will turn out to be revolutionary I pretty much guarantee it won't but maybe it will um, who knows, still it's kind of, in, in, it's a little bit of innovation, Jesus Christ it's a little bit of innovation which is always nice and then they gave uh, some details of the Galaxy Gear S, which is the new watch. Uh, now, I don't understand one thing about this. I get everything apart from this one thing. This new Galaxy Gear S has a SIM card in it. And the idea is, is you can take it without having your phone and make phone calls and all this kind of other stuff. But that means that you're going to have to have two SIMs, i.e. two pay plans, two contracts, however you want to put it. And also, all of your numbers, your messaging and your phone calls go to a specific SIM. So, when you pick up and you take the watch out, you're not going to get your phone calls or your text messages. Or am I missing a piece of the puzzle? Um, if that is the case, then it's absolutely pointless and shit. Um, if it's not the case, and they've got some special piece of technology that forwards it or something, then that's very cool. Uh, I love the look of the screen on it. I think the screen looks excellent. It's too big, though. Far too big. Um... And then they came on to what I found most interesting and most people will probably find most irrelevant and that was the Galaxy Gear VR that they've been involved with with Oculus. Now I like the fact that they've gone out and spoken to someone who actually knows what they're talking about in that particular market in the name of Oculus and they've gone out and uh, created a product together with their input rather than trying to kind of make something themselves that they know nothing about. So I think that's great. It looks like it could be very cool. It's more of a case as to how the software is implemented and how much software there is to use, I think, personally. I imagine that the screen's very good, I imagine it's all quite comfortable and everything else. It's really about, is it gonna be usable and whatnot? Um, we'd have to wait and, and see and see how that kind of turns out. But yeah, that's my kind of initial thoughts, really, on the uh, Samsung announcements today. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments, be very interested to uh, hear, and I will see you guys back again tomorrow. Peace.